You talk, you love playing strong women. We, of course, know you all from Desperate Housewives and going back and seeing some of the clips and all of that. I know it was a time that sort of scarred you emotionally. But when you heard about the college scandal and Felicity Huffman, just what were your thoughts? Oh, uh, I mean, we don't know the facts, but we can be extremely disturbed by the entitlement, the power and money that can take away from less privileged. And that to me is disgraceful. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll see where it really stands. I think there are ways to, to remedy a system that isn't working and I think has been broken for, for a long time. So I don't want to get into how to fix it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's, it's troublesome. It's troublesome because yeah. it can change the life path of a child that is deserving. So Very true. With yeah. all the desperate help, was anybody talking about this, any of the old cast, to see one of your... Co-workers in trouble. Oh, you're just looking for gossip, aren't you? Oh no, I'm so not. It's just <laughs> okay. more that I feel like it sort of rocked everybody. Everybody yeah. I know is yeah. talking about it. I didn't know. I think everybody should be talking yeah. about it. It's a huge problem. Mm -hmm. It's a huge problem. Uh, Natalie mentioned your time at, at Desperate Housewives was was you said even a, a really tough one. What was the reason that Dynasty brought you back on set? Alexis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you mean? <laughs> like uh, Dynasty, why why was Dynasty the thing that that brought you back uh, to Hollywood, to acting, to uh, be, to being on a on oh, a oh well uh, well actually Mar Mark Pedowitz, who was over on the Desperate Housewives team, um, became the president of the CW, and when they um, you know put Dynasty back on air, he came to me and asked if I would play Alexis, and so it was sort of nice coming full circle from mm -hmm. from Desperate to. To Dynasty and working with uh, Mr. Pedowitz again. And, and getting to add your own twist to the character. Did you go back and rewatch Dynasty back in the 80s? Actually, and, no. No, no I, I do know Joan. In fact, I saw her at, uh, at Craig's restaurant and we had a good laugh and a chat. Uh, that a little I while. would have been a Craig. Oh my God. Oh, Two Alexis's in one right? room. Oh. Well, my daughter's obsessed with the new Dynasty, mm -hmm. which is really great to see a whole new yeah. generation. But you're leaving. For a reason very close to your heart, you're going to go spend time with your mom, who is yes. absolutely stunning. You guys will remember oh. her mom. Mm -hmm. um, how is she doing? She's she's um, she's my hero. You know, she. It's a struggle, and I think um, I think anybody who has a parent or a loved one who's going through this finds a new um, consciousness mm -hmm. and appreciation. And I feel blessed that I am able to be here in Los Angeles with, with her and be by her side at this part of her journey. Mm -hmm. And it, in explaining what this is, is she's terminal, a terminal illness. How yeah, she, she has stage four cancer. Yeah. And she's, um, she's always been a spiritual warrior. And I think mm -hmm. that's what's helping her get through this. And, you know, it's scary. It's painful. It's, um, I think it's <sighs> looking at one's mortality. I think we should all start to do at a younger age rather than when the moment is upon us. Yeah. And, um, I, and I think she's grappled with that. So It's great that you can be by her side, though. I mean, you don't yeah. get this time back ever. So No. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful to, to Mark Pedowitz and David Stapp and to, um, and to everybody who, who understands why, why I left the show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a great following, and, and thank you for being there. But I'll be back. Ooh. Oh, Things are good. Oh, 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 the plot <laughs> continues yes. to get me.